Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. Happy, happy new year and happy world kinky day. Yes, mene komi eye manche. And although I'm not feeling too well, I cannot let this pass me by. So I'm here to share with you all my kinky recipe. So if you want to know how I got this kinky nice and mushy like this, Stay tuned and don't go nowhere. Now, if you're new to my channel, join the sweet team by clicking on that subscribe button right now. While you're at it, hit that bell so you'll be among the first to be notified when I upload a video. All right, let's get started. So I have my corn meal right here. No cassava dough in there. I also have, I just wanted to show you this other type of husk. So there are two types of husk here. Now I'm going to use this type. And in the near future, I'll show you how to use this other type, all right? Next, I'm going to wash my husk very well because I don't know who handled it. And I'm going to be eating this, so it has to be nice and clean, see? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to soak it to get it nice and soft. Now, the ratio to making kinky is three equal parts of corn meal. Now, we're going to use one part to make the aflata which is the banku part of making the kinky. And I add three cups of water and mix it very nicely because I want it to be nice and soft. And you add your salt, make sure it's good salt because you cannot add salt after this is done. When you're making your kinky, you don't want to add salt because it's going to melt it. All right, and I just added one more cup of water because my aflata wasn't soft enough to my liking. And it cooks very fast because it's very, you know, soft. And make sure you don't have no lumps. Nobody wants coming here with bowl. <laughs> All right. So next we put it in a bowl. And we're going to um, uh, spread it out into the bowl nicely. And then we're going to add our raw dough to the cooked dough. Okay. And this is what's going to create banco. Because... I mean, kumi, because banku is not sour, but kinke is, and this is where the sourness comes in. Now, if you use the right ratio, you're going to get that nice mushy. If the aflata is more than the raw cornmeal, your kinke is not going to be as nice and mushy as you would like. Okay, so now we're gonna work it like almost like working a dough for bread to create that sort of gluten to give you that stretchy um, feel when you eat your kinky. Okay, so um, mix it well and then we push it all to one side. Next, we need some water. Our husk is nice and soft and a tray. And we're going to make equal balls or at least try to okay so we'll make the balls and put it in the space that i've left right there and your dog no no i hear trying all right so if you follow this ratio your kinky is going to come out nice and stretchy when you make your balls don't use all the dough leave some for the little patches that we're going to be making next we take our husk and then we put our ball into the husk Wrap it up very nicely. And then we take another husk and cover the top part with it. Okay. Once we cover that part, we want to hold it together, holding the bottom tuck and the top tuck. And then we twist, twist, twist. Turn our hand over, twist and push, twist and push until it's nice and tight. Make a, a little hole right there and push the excess husk in there and then cover it up okay and then we make this almost egg like shape and that's it our kinky it's on the way all right and next at times you will run into a little problem and I just wanted to show you guys what I'm talking about if your husk tend to be a little big it might cover on the bottom but you still need to close this top but it won't stick with just the husk alone. So you want to put some of the dough right there. This way, when you put the husk on, it's going to stick to it almost like a glue and your kinky will not 
open up in the cooking process or in the handling process and again you twist and then you push the SS husk inside the belly cover it up and if SS comes from the bottom part take it up and add it to the belly and we are done all right guys I'm struggling here a little bit because your sweet isn't feeling so sweet at all but I needed to share this super amazing world kinky day with you all and I'm so happy that I am back y'all I miss you all thank you all for sending me messages that you miss me and you love me I love you guys so so much all right next we're going to cradle the bottom with some husk and then we'll put our kinky we'll line it nicely in there the husk is there so just in case it burns you can still easily take your kinky out okay now once on the fire we add the water almost to the top because you don't want to fill it up to the rim because it will boil over and then we cover it up with plastic bags and then we let it cook and my grandma used to make king cake they called my house commission and it will come here hey well you're coming back so you want to check it in between times and as you can see it's still firm so it's not done this i'm going to be cooking for about two to three hours and you keep checking and adding water as needed and i kept adding hot water okay guys at this point it's done and you can see that it's nice and soft right now and when you're checking guys make sure you have cold water that you put your hand in so you don't burn yourself just look how beautiful and how nice and soft this king cake is and you do not want to leave it in the pot in that liquid gold that's what I need right now to cure this bad flu that do not want to go away and here we have it I don't want it to dry up so I put it in this bag like they used to do when I was younger so I'm gonna pour myself some of my Otishino. I need this okay yes y'all and here is our kinky I let it cool down because obviously if I break it apart when it was still hot it will be soft but it's cool and guys you can still see how nice and stretchy it is Try this recipe and the ratio that I just showed you and you're not going to regret it. Happy New Year to all my lovely subscribers. I love you all so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support. Until I see you all in my next video, stay safe, keep loving each other. And guys, ke onamini ochemi suite mahabutu. Bye y'all.